Well, hey guys. I know I haven't really made a video in a while. Probably like I think six or six or seven months, something like that. Uh, that's mainly because I've been working working on project that I didn't didn't think was worth uploading, and they are really uh, hard also to kind of film myself and you know upload it. Uh, all I have this uh, phone, so I don't really have any professional camera. Uh, but I have a little metal work or metal project uh, currently on the way, so I'm gonna show you what I did in the past uh, six months. And then I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna tweet the metal project right now, and then I'm gonna take you on a little tour what I managed to do so far. Okay. Uh, so for the past six months or so I've been working on this uh, building. I replaced the entire roof on this building and also added this kind of section here to store the vehicles. Uh, it was a very tedious job and took me a long time. Uh, but I'm very proud of it. The roof on this building was over 50 years old so it really needed a replacement. Uh, all the lumber from this uh, hangar, I guess, came from my Bansa mill. I'm especially proud of these uh, long beams that I got. And I think they will serve me well here. It's a very nice place to store two cars. You can even store a third one in the center, but then you would block the driveway into the garage. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take you a little trip around the house I think I started with uh, the building the roof on uh, July or something so it took me a very long time to finish this uh, I also added this kind of front porch here like today so it looks a bit messy right now but uh, I finished all the woodwork so the ladies can kind of scrape around the porch. Also, yeah, a nice porch here also. And this is on the other side of the building. So this took me a lot of time and money, <laughs> especially money. But I got it off very cheaply and that's why I really haven't really made any videos because I'm being super busy with this uh, roof. It's not really done yet. I still need to uh, mend the chimney uh, surroundings. They are currently they are open and open and one of the chimneys is incomplete right now. But hopefully I will get to it this year. Basically I'm going to walk to the garage now quickly. And I'm going to show you what I'm currently planning right now. Okay, currently I'm working on a hydraulic press or bottle jack press, I guess. I'm cutting the... Hmm, I'm not sure how you even call this steel... Well, it's, it's not I-beam, I know that, but whatever. I'm cutting this for the press and I already got the two standing ones. I made them 1.6 meters tall, I think that's fine. And I'm probably gonna uh, like use 20 or 30 tons bottle jack here. Uh, yeah, I have like two bottle jacks here. They are both rated at 20 tons. I think, yeah, 20 tons and 20 tons, yeah. So I'm probably gonna use this first, or one of these, but I want them to work upside down, so I need to kind of figure out the hydraulic reservoir thing. Probably some kind of, probably need to fill this bottle jack up entirely, and then kind of connect some kind of hose here that goes into a separate reservoir tank 
because I know that these jacks really don't like working upside down and if you get air in the system then it's kind of really hard to bleed it out at least that's what I've heard okay well I will start working on this video this was just a short video to show you what I've been up to in the past four months uh, one more thing I'm gonna do it is that the Bansa Mill uh, undercarriage carriage and the place where the logs are sitting I'm gonna change them out entirely uh, because uh, the currently the driving surface is kind of iffy plus the, the railing uh, is like uh, welded together from two meter parts so the welding joints are also not that good so I, I cut some five meter long uh, five meter long angle irons and I'm gonna use these instead also I'm gonna make the entire uh, log bench uh, weld it together to the railings I hope, it, hope that adds some stability uh, and yeah I'm gonna do some redesigning here I also did some redesigning here also uh, I wanted to add a laser here, okay, well, yeah, laser is right there to show me where the current uh, area is for the uh, Bansa blade, but uh, I still have some wirings to do and stuff, need to connect this somewhere, I'm not sure, this doesn't work, yeah, it doesn't work right now, and I also added this kind of bigger hand winch here this is the biggest hand winch I can get from the store uh, it, it has two gears here to kind of support the load I guess um, and yeah did some kind of weird shit here also I couldn't find any uh, metal roll bearing here so I don't know this works right now before there was an issue the entire uh, the entire um, and cable kind of ate away from the metal metal sliding surface and then it kind of started to eat into this uh, steel beam and it was really hard to kind of you know turn this shit but right now it seems to be working fine and I can do it with one, one hand before I couldn't even do it with two so I think this will be a bit more better but it's not perfect yeah okay well thank you for watching this video I know it's just well maybe it's not so short anymore but yeah thanks and uh, I will see you in the next video when I build the press okay bye